I'm expecting one by end of January, early February. That being said, I didn't experience any issues when in my playthrough. So I guess I was one of the lucky few who didn't have to suffer. My gameplay, with the you know, with the exception of the frame rate drops, my gameplay basically immaculately. Why? Why? That was synergy, wasn't it? Aren't they adept? Who are you? I had tons of issues, especially with terror raids and co oping They could have just chunk loading. They could have just had chunk loading and everything would have been fine. Fair enough. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like chunk loading would work in a in a open world type uh, in an open world format. Are you the ones who defeated Poseidon? Yep, that's quite something. Who are you that you could defeat that Leviathan? If you are strong enough to defeat Poseidon, you are too dangerous to enter Lemuria. I mean, Lemuria. The king's orders are clear. We cannot grant you entry. King? Who is your king? His Highness King Hydros, of course. His Majesty has ruled over Lemuria for centuries. King Hydra just decreed that Lemuria must be kept safe from dangerous outsiders. You say that we are dangerous, but do you include me in, this, um, in that as well? Piers! It's also kind of dumb to me that when you pet Mar uh, Maridon, you click through it every single time. Nearly every open world game uses chunks. Really? You can see it in Breath of the Wild if you travel quickly midair. You'll actually freeze for a second while the chunk loads. I don't know, I feel like people complain about that too. <laughs> the, I think the only difference is that it wasn't as bad as the issues that are in Scarlet and Violet. But make no mistake, people complained about that. It just wasn't so bad that it, you know, ruined the gameplay. As with some of the glitches and whatnot that people were experiencing in Scarlet and Violet. Which would, of course, ruin gameplay experience. Like, for me, all I had was minor FPS drops. That did not ruin anything for me. Uh, no freezes, no anything like that. So, my gameplay experience was mild. Uh, you know, it was, it was satisfactory for me. But I can definitely see, you know, a lot of other people who were having issues with crashes and all that kind of stuff. People complain about everything. That is the way of the world. <laughs> that is the way of the world. Did you join them in battle against Poseidon? Impossible. Everyone knows you possess great courage, but you still are um, no match for. Uh, you still you are still a mere Lemurian. Such comments do us all the great disservice. I battled fiercely alongside my friends. Leave our landing to me. You have my word that we shall not create problems for blah 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 blah. blah. Will you? <laughs> I just want them to stop talking. Talk too much. Pears, I know. You are a man of your word, but the king's orders must stand. Lord Duck Time, I know, right? You understand that we cannot simply ignore the, uh, the king's orders, don't you, Pears? What is King Kaijos doing? So you people really take your king seriously, don't you? Insolent pup. Do not dishonor the king of Lemuria. We are peaceful, but quick to anger. Pup, I must be twice your age. Who are you calling a pup? You wish to see Lemuria, and yet you know so little of us. I am far older than you. Show respect. <sighs> or the meat inconceivable. Uh, actually, Cran, these two are perhaps older than all of you combined. Bobby must have spoken of this to you in Lemuria. Um, in Lemuria, time passes quite slowly. Ah, well, I suppose I recall something of that sort, um, or another. Maybe. 
But to imagine for a moment that these two gentlemen are older than I am, it's a bit much. But perhaps I was rude, and I apologize. I hope. I, I'm, perhaps I was rude, and I hope you accept my apology. My ignorance misled me. Oh, just so long as we're clear on that. You know, I would I think they would want to be known as younger people, right? Not older people. But if you're, fight, uh, if you're fighting as, as skilled as your wordplay, then perhaps you aren't so dangerous to us. Don't get, so, let me get this straight. That, that was a jab, right? That was a jab at his wordplay, right? It, to me, that kind of sounded like they were calling him uh, like dumb. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it felt like he was calling me stupid. They are a bit high and mighty. Maybe I misread that, but that definitely came across as, <laughs> if that's how they speak, they can't be any problem to us. King Hydros might be willing to reverse his order if we confer with him, wouldn't he? We shall speak with him at once. King Hydrus has been seeking news from beyond the sea of time. He will want to see you. Wait here. How long do you think we'll be waiting? Good point. Time means little to most Lemurians. Mere moments to us could seem like a lifetime to outsiders. You seem young to me, and yet you're probably an old man among your people. I would imagine that you have probably done enough waiting for your lifetime. King Hydrus instructed us to be kind to the elderly at all times. They seem untrustworthy enough. Should we let them in? I can see no reason not to. We won't get in trouble, will we? I will be with them. Now please, let me walk the streets of my home once more. I beseech you. Then we place our trust in each of you. Manter, but don't do anything rash. If you cause any trouble, we'll hunt you down and exact swift and terrible vengeance. Do we have your word? Yep. You have my word. I solemnly swear to go into your city and blow it up immediately. Kaboom! <laughs> so everybody that's just joining the stream, once again, welcome on in. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed yourselves um, in System Failure Stream. Once again, I am Brochu89. Um, I have a question for you all. I am currently trying to think of ideas for a subathon, um, both video game related and non video game related. Though I do have a, quite a few video game related ideas as it is. I'm trying to think of different things that we can do in terms of goals, sub goals. Um, I've never done a subathon before, so I'm not really sure what would make a decent sub goal. Um, I've been told that people were like, uh, some people were telling me that, you know, doing something that you would normally never do could be a decent sub goal. Um, I can't bring myself to play scary games. I was like, I was going to add that, but I, I can't, I can't bring myself to play scary, I can't, I, I'm such a weakling. Uh, I'm such a poor soul, I can't do, I cannot do that jump scares. And, and it's sad because I wasn't always like this. Um, but ever since I watched the movie It, when I was like six or seven years old, it one ruined clowns for me and two ruined scary movies for me. And ever since then, I was like, yep, never again. Um, then there's movies like, uh, was it Candyman and stuff like that? I was like, yeah, nope, uh-uh, never again. Sorry, I have a lot of alerts and emails and whatnot. Started watching horror from a young age, so you love it? I used to watch a lot of horror. Uh, I used to play like all the Resident Evil games, but then I watched it. And that was like one of the most gruesome things I could watch at a seven year, as a six, seven year old. 
Um, and I was like, never again do I ever want to see a clown or watch a scary movie. Um, and then at that point, seeing like the liquor from Resident Evil, um, jump scare me when I walk around a corner and he like eats my heart and stuff. Yeah, I was like, yeah, nope, we're uh, we're good. I'll stick to comedy. <laughs> And Nintendo. <laughs> First for horror as a kid was a poltergeist. I mean, like a movie game poltergeist. You won't understand what you meet the king yourself. But that does not matter now. Let's go to Lemuria, the city you've all been longing to see. I actually didn't really care about coming here, but. Because the story required me to do so, I am here. Here, at last. This music is very calming. I appreciate it. Can I reach that? Probably not from up here, right? Hmm. Maybe there's another way down there. Alright, it is time, chat. It's time for the- ooh, she's pretty. Hi, pretty lady. Murray has no diseases, no war. Anyone who saw it will think it a paradise. And yet, all who come to our city seek to leave soon after arriving. I too wish to leave. I haven't been surprised in ages. I don't know what I'd do if someone ta uh, if something happened. I'm sure you'd do something though, right? Do you wish to test your luck at the spring of Lemuria? Go ahead, test your luck. I always love this thing. All right, we're gonna chuck, I have 10 lucky medals, man. Let's get all the items. Boop. Oh, I was hoping it was going to bounce into the turtle. I feel like it went right underneath the turtle. Alright, we got a floral dress. We're going to we're gonna fight in that dress, by the way. Alright, we dodged the... Oh, but we hit the other crab. Eh, that's still pretty good. Ooh, the Hestia blade. That reminds me of that show called, was it Don Machi or something like that? Something familiar? Got a crown! Of glory! Am I actually gonna have enough space for all this stuff though? Oh my god! Stupid turtle and crab top! Now we got the Minerva Helm. Well, wasted my stuff now. Wasted my coins. I got five chances to get the center. Oh, just outside of the center. This turtle really gets on my nerves. We got another floral dress. We're giving stuff to peers now, which means we're running out of space. I want that summon. Oh my god. The crab and turtle up top are constantly in the way. Okay, but I'll take a water of life. I'm not gonna get that summon, am I? Stopping right there. I'm really tired of that turtle. Oh, it still hit the turtle. Last chance to get. A bullseye. 
Oh, it's a oh, it's a crab. Oh uh, no! Yes! Dance hitter. <sighs> I thought I was gonna have to leave here without it. I was gonna be extremely sad. <laughs> Gotta keep it dramatic. <laughs> they had to keep me on my toes. I was gonna be extremely sad if I had left here without this item, though. Used to put enemies to sleep. Okay, so we put the dress on and it puts people to sleep. Um, she can equip the dress, but I feel like it's a waste, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna put that dress on. That's kind of dumb. I love Crucible Fire, though. I kind of wish... Um, I kind of wish Feel uh, not Felix, uh, Jenna could use the, uh, Flash Blade, the Lightning Sword. I feel like she should be able to. Uh, Raises, uh, PP. Uh, that would be a... 16 point boost for him and a 10 point boost for him I guess I just equipped it um let's see other items he has restores PP over time crown of glory uh, it would drop her attack, but raise her defense by 15. This, it raises hers by 14. She's the healer. I'm going to give it to her. Right? Healer gets cool stuff. Um, now I have a gauntlet and a shield. That was called crafted gloves, boost attack. This would actually lower his attack, though, if I gave it to him. This would lower her defense and agility, but raise her attack by only five. Ah, that's not worth it. Um, so, raises her attack by six. Raises her defense by six. Raises his attack by six as well. Raises his defense by 14. Um, we have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. Raise elements of resistance. This is the item we're supposed to give to uh to uh Isaac. Raises evade. Drops my attack by eight, raises my defense by two seven. No but it drops it by six. But raises defense by seven. Drops my attack by 12, but raises defense by 11. So technically it'd be a plus for him if I did this. Oh, because I'm taking off the attack gloves. Oh, this is fine. I'm all, I'm pretty strong as it is. I think that's fine, right? And we'll just sell the crafted gloves. Oh no, I can give, just give it to her. <laughs> Duh. A uh, duh. A uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, so I need to find a store, but I'm pretty sure there's no store here, right? Like this place lacks a, a storefront of any kind. Oh, Crad. Crad's gonna talk my head off again, isn't he? Felix, look over here. This place is magnificent. I 
kind of feel like at this point I might as well get all the talking done with. Oh, he's not going to get back. Where are you going, Felix? Let's take a look, a longer look around. This place is remarkable. Truly remarkable. Who goes there? I've not seen you here before. Wait a moment. You must be the travelers who arrived with the peers. Is your name Felix Bernstein? Oh, excuse me. Yep. That sleep is catching up. Piers, you mean Piers, the lost one? Have I earned a title in my absence? Well, worry not. Piers is lost no more. I seek um, counsel with uh, I seek counsel with King Hydros. Has His Highness been told of my return? What has been word was sent, but I do not know if he has if it has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conserv um, Conservato, I think his name is Lord Conservato, is meeting with his highness as we speak. Not Conservato. What's wrong, Pierce? You don't look pleased to hear that name. Craddon, what do you think of what you have seen on Lemur of Lemuria? That is a big castle. It is a magnificent city. Or do you mean the castle? Both are magnificent. And you, Felix, do you agree? Any newcomer to our town would doubtless uh, fill those aim at first. In ages past, Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness the King tells of days gone by, of a more brilliant Lemuria, long before my birth. Over the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity. Lemuria, Lemuria has fallen into slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria, as you see it, is only a shadow of the city of legend. If only I had the chance to see the city in all of its splendor. Well, how, how does Conservato, how does Conservato figure um, in? King Hydros believes that our decay is related to in some way of um, alchemy. King I just wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there were anything we could do to help stop it, we would. But the senators are unwilling to take action. They're stubborn, and they fear any change. Senate? What, um, what is a Senate? The Senate is the group of elders who determine policy in Lemuria. Lord, Conserv um, Lord Conservato holds the highest office in the Senate. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. Word of our arrival will never reach the king as long as Conservato has his ear. And his conversations with the king are incredibly long. We have no choice but to wait patiently here. Why don't we spend our time looking around the Maria then? Not like I have a choice! Alright, I think we're actually going to save the lengthy conversation for next time, because I feel like I would pass out from that. Now that Pierce has returned, maybe he'll share his tales with the out um, of the outside world with me. The Senate passed a law that prohibits us from leaving, but Pierce was carried out by, um, to sea by the tidal wave. He can't be blamed for that. I've never been outside of Lemuria. I don't know what the rest of the world is like. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I kind of don't want to start it now, because I feel like I have to commit myself to it. And I, I know I'm really tired, so I think we'll save that for the next, for next time. So let's go and stand in front of... I do that. In, in the famous words of Stitch. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so we're supposed to go and talk to the king. Um, we saved it for this time because the chat with the king is a long, tedious chat um, that takes time. 
So I figured it would probably be wiser to... Oh, wait, I forgot. We can't go talk to him yet. Um, I, fi I figured it'd be wiser to uh, move around. Not move around. Wait until now. That way we could just start a, you know, a fresh stream. So now... Oh, there's kids up there. No one in Lemuria feels any passion for anything. They're lazier than a cat in a sunbeam. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> I think now is the time to go ahead and get that talking done. So we can move on to the next part. Says House of the Senate. Yeah, that's the house of the angry old people. There are the children. Unfortunately, you guys are probably twice their age. <laughs> I'd imagine those children are like twice their age. Alright, so I'm supposed to... I think I need to find his uncle? I forget where his uncle lives. I know this is Lupin's house. Not Lupin. Uh, I, yeah, actually, I think his name is Lupin. I'm gonna sneak into his house. Oh, I can't because the window's not open. Um, let's do, give this to him, use growth, uh, give this back to her, there we go, that looks more like a door than anything, what's the cow doing here, Lemurians are so lazy that they make me look like a dynamo, and they live Long, um, and they live so long. <laughs> it's sad that the animals are like playing them like that. I feel like every animal I've spoken to so far has played them. Only the one. I know I was close enough to hit them all. I don't think there's any gin down here, though. Let me hit this, too. Might as well, right? Leave nothing unturned. So how's everybody's day gone so far? I know it's still early in the week. I hope everybody's been having a good week, um, though, thus far. Other stuff have been hard at work studying and all that kind of stuff. Um, though I will admit, I probably didn't do as much studying today as I would have liked to have. Um, I was extremely tired. Um, so I did like I did a little bit of studying and then ended up taking a nap halfway throughout the day. Um, and I had some running around to do this morning. I went to the store and whatnot to get some quick things. Um, but, uh, we're going to do some major shopping on Friday morning. I'm sorry it has taken me so long to visit, Uncle. Piers, you're alive. Yes, I've managed to survive against a great many trials. What a fascinating coincidence. We've stumbled across Pierce's uncle's house. I must thank you all for looking after my nephew. This is Felix and Crichton. They are my friends and um, have aided me tremendously. If my sister could only hear um, how 
Timid young Piers has become a mighty warrior. Where is my mother? We've been so busy since we arrived that I haven't had a chance to see her. Now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother's always so neat. No, no, she hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There's still illness in Lemuria? My mother was born with a weak heart. Piers, I'm sorry. Your return comes too late. After the tidal wave washed you to sea, your mother suddenly fell ill. Probably over grief that her son got, you know, swept away. Oh, look at my camera. I just realized my camera is pretty up there. I was playing Street Fighter 6 Beta. That's what it was. Um, and so my camera got, uh... I moved it up so that, um... For the video I was recording, so that we can get the maximum amount of a uh, screen. There we go. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She held out hope for your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother um, gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that um, doesn't that sound like your mother? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. You will find her. What should we do, Felix? Should we follow Pierce? Nah. You're right. Pierce probably needs some time alone right now. I'm so relieved that Pierce has returned to me alive. He is the last of our relatives. Without him, I would be alone. Poor Pierce. Being born in Lemuria and gifted with long life. Only to lose his father in his youth and his mother now. He faces many long years of loneliness. Wait! I ask that you leave Pierce to his morning for now. Now he's struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, could, uh, did you not? I suspected as much. Pierce is right to bring you here. Pierce told me his secret. The mission he was given by his highness, the king. Even, at, even had the tidal wave not carried Piers off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. You look confused. Piers told you about this, did he not? No. Curious. I can't understand why he would do. Um, why he won't do. Um, why he would do that? I bet. If Lord Conservat, um, if Lord Conservato, had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. I wonder what news Pierce has brought with him. Either way, I do not um I do know why he has brought you here. Felix, don't tell me that you, he hasn't at least told you that much. You say he sold you, but you look rather confused. Straight leave! It's the Bongo Cat! <laughs> What's up, man? How you feeling? Welcome back in. Glad to have you here. As always. Unfortunately, I know little more than that. While Pierce confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you a letter, so that you can see Lumpa. Lumpa has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out, but if I send him this, he will see you. All I need is a bird to carry it to, uh, to him in his tower. Ooh, excuse me. I swear I'm not actually sleepy. Because I did take a nap before streaming, so... There, you should be able to see him now. I think this is the post-wake-up uh, yawns. Plus, I did just have like a really hearty dinner. Uh, it was like thick pieces of pork chop. The plan was to be more productive than just going to the grocery store, but that didn't happen. Pretty much. I dropped the baby off at the centers. I went to the grocery store. I picked up some milk, uh, both 2% of whole milk, um, some stuff for, the, for this weekend. Um, 
some tea for my wife, some applesauce for the baby, a box of oatmeal raisin cookies for myself, and some Ritz crackers, because they were on sale. Golly plans are in the air, a bit because your roommate caught the plague. Oh, no. You, not like COVID, the plague, right? You're supposed to get grading done, but oh well. Are you the kids' peers traveling companions? Oh, no. Well, hope they're feeling better. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I know for me, it really just felt like I had a cold. I felt fine up, like after three days, though. They tested positive this morning. Yeah, I hope they feel better. Lots of drink, drops of fluid. Lots of Gatorade and water would uh, will do them some good. And then just write it out. I spent most of my time playing uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses and laying down in the bed while drinking water and Gatorade. Mom, for you, other than nasty fever in the beginning, yep. I was just sad, upset because I got it right after I got my second booster shot. So I was like, dang. <laughs> I thought the booster shot was supposed to help me against this. I got it immediately after getting my booster. Are you the kid's good? Yes. Your door's broken, I'm afraid. But I opened up a window just above the door. Sorry about this, but you'll have to climb into there. It takes time. So sad. So very sad. Honestly, I'm amazed that anyone can travel so far across the world in this age. Say, say, Pierce isn't with you. Er, why not? His mother passed away. He's gone to visit her grave. Of, oh, of course, his mother. He loved her dearly. A terrible loss. It must be hard on him. Well, Pierce may not be here, but we still have much to discuss. If Pierce bought you, you must be working to break the seal on Alchemy, right? Yep. Ah, Pierce has done quite well in finding you. What mission could the, the good King Hydras have assigned to Pierce? What? Pierce has, not, um, Pierce has told you nothing of his mission? Really? So you actually have nothing at all to do with alchemy. Our parents were kidnapped by the Fire Clan far to the north. We are only firing the lighthouse beacons to gain their freedom. King Hydras told me that Venus and Mercury had been ignited once again. Was that your doing? I'm afraid I know nothing of any northern fire clan. But that doesn't explain you, sir. You're clearly not related to these two. What are, the, um, what are your goals? Gran joined us on his quest on behalf of Lord Bobby of Tolby. Bobby? I only know of one man named Bobby, but it couldn't. Master Lumpa, the Bobby we speak of is the same yet, um, man you knew long ago. Ah, so he's still out there living in the outside world. Well, that might not be the most accurate way of putting it. Most accurate? My, you certainly have an odd way of t um, turning a phrase. He was living, yes, until recently that is. So Bobby passed away, but only recently, you say. When he finally ran out of his mystic draught, his spirit began to wane. Then, I no longer know anyone in the outside world. But aren't you Lupa, the righteous thief? I was called that once, long, long ago. Why do you ask? I'll bet there's at least one person in the outside world whom you still know. Who would that be? There's a town called Lumpa in northern Angara. A man named Dampa lives there. I settled at that village, and Dampa, he is my son. Now your grandson, Dodampa, that's a silly name, I swear it's a silly name, rules over your village, Dodampa. Rules? Rules is an ill-sounding word. 
But it's an accurate one, Lumpa Dodampa, um, but it's an accurate one, Lumpa. Dodampa is an evil thief who has caused much trouble in Anagara. What has become of my son? How could he permit such a long, um, such a thing to happen? Master Lumpa, don't you have any idea how old Dump, um, Dampa is? He is as I am, an old man. He may be older than even I. If this news outrages you, why don't you, um, go and set Dodampa, um, straight? If only I could. Is this the only reason we're here? To bring news to the outside world? No. Yes, yes. I am sorry we were sidetracked. We have much more to discuss. But before we begin, there is one thing I must say. You don't mind, um, do you, Felix? It's clearly your judgment on this matter is fault, Felix. I must speak. I have discussed this with none but Felix, but I have my own reasons for this quest. I could have sworn I said, I don't mind. What do you mean? Only that I have my own reasons for wanting to see the beacons lit again. Why are you telling us all of this now? Because I feel this quest is deeply linked to Lemuria. I thought it odd that Lord Bobby should order me to research alchemy. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what you promised to tell us when we reach Lemuria? Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am, continue. Long ago, before alchemy's power was sealed, there were many civilizations as advanced and cultivated as Lemuria. At the moment, that alchemy was sealed. Oh, crap, I was trying to read that, and I hit the controller on the desk, and then Biden hit the boom, and the Dalek went to fort. <sighs> Until eventually, they vanished. I have formed certain theories now, suggesting that this may be related to the seal on alchemy. Let me get this straight. You felt you couldn't tell us this until you were in Lemuria. And you only wanted to come to Lemuria to test your theories and see if they were true. But even if everything you said is true, what does it all mean? If your theories are correct, the world itself will wane and vanish, won't it, Craddon? Pierce never spoke of this to you, did he? If you came to this theory on your own, you are indeed a wise scholar. We would do well to trust you. What do you mean? King Hydras and I, as well as others in Lemuria, hold the same beliefs that you do, Cranton. You do? Civilizations thrive by building upon the knowledge of the past. Knowledge gained in one generation should be taken even further by the next. Thus, knowledge and learning continue to grow. This is the natural course of civilization. But where is the world today? The great civilizations of old have all withered and vanished. We are, um, we are all isolated and alone. You have encountered many cultures in your travels. Are any of them capable of building the great sanctums and lighthouses you have seen? No, they are not. But this is not the only sign of the decay you have theorized. I think it best that you hear the rest directly from His Majesty, King Hydras. Yes, cried, we shall go to visit the King. Ah, but King Hydras is in council um, with Lord Con um, Conservato. We might not be allowed in. Conservato? That fool! He refuses to acknowledge what he can't see with his own eyes. I will meet with the King and press our evidence upon Conservato. Come with me. Yeah, stupid door! Yeah! Huh. At last you are open! To the king's chambers! Away! <laughs> Lupa ought to be as old as Lord Bobby was, but he has so much energy. He's got a fire in him. I do wish I could have learned, um, I could have heard more about Lord Bobby though. But come, Felix, to the king's palace we go! Alright, I think I need to pick up Felix first though, right? I truly forgot just how much talking was in this portion. Oh, God. And we're not even halfway done with, with the dialogue. I think we might actually just be halfway done with the dialogue. It's that bad. You call them by their um, other names, like how my mother confuses me and my nephew.
apparently a grandma thing. It's always a grandma thing. Where's the graveyard? Did I somehow miss the graveyard? I mean, it works. I don't know what happened with that link. It definitely linked properly. I'm not sure what that typing error is about. It's west. It's right down there, right? This is the graveyard, right? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I could have sworn that was the graveyard. I just don't see piers. Going to the castle. I'm sure he'll meet us here. Hi, miss. If you seek the counsel of his, his highness, the king, follow this passage to the doors of the inn. Now, I came to scream at some old dude named Conservata. You are Lord Fitz, correct? Yes. Oh, Pierce is already here. Well, that makes sense. It would seem that the warriors of which you spoke have arrived. So it would, your highness. I shall call them to us immediately. There is no need, Lupa. Let us go to them. You mean more lord dump time. Hi, Jules. Would you see me dishonored thus? They ought to present themselves to us. Shut up, old man. Sorry. I know. Respect your elders. This guy gets to my nerves. I do not go to present myself to the Conservator. I am merely going to where they are. I have something that I wish to show everyone. Regardless of your reason, sire, I will not go to them. And do as you will, Conservator. However, we shall go. I heard of your arrival. It is quite remarkable that you were able to reach Lemuria. Welcome. Allow me to introduce my companions. This is Shiba. Jenna. Felix and Crichton. Crichton is the one who told me of the outside world civilizations of the condition. Ah, Crichton, Lupa describes you as a remarkable scholar. Your research impressed us. Thank you, Your Highness. Your theories are correct. Our world is now on a path to destruction. And who has decided this? You, Hydros. Some civilizations have vanished, surely. But that is the way of the outside world. Look around you, Lemuria. Lemuria remains unchanged. Don't delude yourself. Lemuria has been in slow decline for ages now. But that can wait. My most trusted scholars have reached this conclusion after extensive research. I sent Pierce to confirm this for me. So you admit it, Hydros. You violated the directive of the Senate. You used the tidal wave as your chance to send Pierce away, despite our commands. You are incorrect. The tidal wave carried me away by chance alone. Conservator, you must know that the tidal wave was caused by Poseidon's return. Only a fool would have chosen to send a man to see if he knew the thing um, that this would have happened. What was it that you intended to have Pierce confirm? This map shows the ancient world when Lemuria still traded um, with people on the many continents. It looks like a crescent moon with a circle on it. It was a great age, a time when the world shined brightly. And this is the map Lupa had when, uh, with him when he arrived in Lemuria 150 years ago. I used this map to sail around the world. It is quite accurate. It, and incredible! You understand, Crichton? What do you understand? Well, unless my eyes deceive me, the continents have shrunk since the Golden Age. That's, in that's insane. It is not insane, it is true. Perhaps this, was, um, this will make the point 
more clear um make the point more clearly look at these two maps side by side they call this side by side there's no mistaking it the continents on lupus map are clearly smaller lies nothing but lies made him come though you made him come down to us what do you hope to gain from um foisting these lies upon our people you know well that I hope to gain nothing more than the truth, Conservative. And who do you expect will believe such nonsense? If you do not believe the evidence with your eyes, what do you believe? I can't help but equate this climate change in Conservative to a <laughs> climate change denier. It's because he's a conservative. It's because he's very, very conservative about uh, information and all that fun stuff. If only he would actually believe people. Do you believe the Lemurian map to be accurate to this day? Tell me, Piers, you were able to investigate this matter, were you not? Thanks to Felix and my companions, I was able to travel much of the Eastern Sea. And what did you find? I found in truth that Lupus map is the more accurate of the two. However, the world seems even smaller now than it appears on Lupa's map. What are you saying? Time itself has stopped. Think of Weyer as a living, breathing being, possessing its own life force. The four elements are the nourishment needed to sustain that being. Craddon, this is exactly what King Hodges himself has said to me. Ever since alchemy was sealed away, the world has been cut off from its nourishment. It has gone into a state akin to the hibernation. By using less energy, way it prolongs its life. Yet, when hibernating, the being has only stopped its own clock, not the flow of time around it. When a bear sleeps through the winter, it needs only wait for spring to come. When it awakens, it can nourish its weakened body again. But if spring never comes, the bear will eventually die. Way it is, wa um, way it is wasting away, its continents shrinking because its spring has never come. You know what? I kind of want to see the map of Dark Dawn and compare it to the maps I just showed to see if it, um, if the land masses grew back out. Hi, Jos. How can you make such outrageous claims? The world is not alive. What the hell are you talking about? Of course the world's alive. It's a living thing. What? What? <laughs> Excuse me? What do you think makes earthquakes and tidal waves and whatnot? It's a living thing. Moron. Oh my god. I'm sorry. How is he on the Senate? Who appointed this guy to the Senate? Fire him immediately. What? Tell me, Conservato. Why do you think Poseidon has returned? Do you have the answer, Hydros? The elements of lighthouses. Felix and his companions have lit the beacons above Mercury and Venus Lighthouse. What? Have you any idea, have you any idea what will happen if you set that evil loose upon the world again? Yep. You know that it could bring about the destruction of the world, and yet you did it anyway. My lord, you cannot possibly intend for these people to light their raining beacons. I do indeed, Conservato, and I also fear the possibility that alchemy will destroy the world. But I cannot stand by knowing that as I do that the world will wither and die if we do not act. Sir, what we're trying to tell you, Conservato, is that if we do nothing, the world will die anyway. If we do something, there's a chance the world will die, but there's also a chance the world could be saved. Which, which option would you rather choose? To do nothing and die? Or to do something and potentially die, but potentially save the world? Hmm... I'll take doing something for a uh, hundred dollars. Yes. It's hard to say from looking at the two um, at the two maps. It doesn't seem to be any noticeable change. The content changed. Okay. This is madness, Hydros. Does the threat of alchemy mean so little to you? Would you put the world in even greater danger to satisfy your theories? With only two of the beacons lit, I assume you intend to send peers out again. And I will go, Lord Conservato. Felix is needed my power. Then go, Pierce. But if you do, say farewell 
for you will never be able to return. You will, you will be banished from Lemuria forever. You know our laws. Are you prepared for the outcome? I myself am disgusted by the whole matter. I take my leave of you, Hydros. We should have tripped him when he walked past. But I warn you, I will not permit you to go through with this madness. Trip him! Trip him! Ah, we missed our chance. <laughs> we missed our chance. What will you do, your highness? I knew this outcome was inevitable. But I could not sit silent while our world drifted down the path to, the, to its destruction. I want you to elect the remaining beacons before you return. That's what we intend to do, but we cannot leave the Eastern Sea. I have already heard of this um, problem from Pierce. Is this the grindstone? This is something I found by accident in some ruins back in my days as a thief. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to contain some powerful synergy. Seems to. You're not certain? It is a synergy that we Lemurians are unable to use. I understand you travel with many different kinds of adepts. Do you not, Felix? If we include peers in our numbers, we have one adept for each of the four elements. Then at least one of you should be able to use the synergy that this box contains. King Hydras believes the item can only be used by one who wields synergy of the earth. If I am not mistaken, it is a powerful synergy we call grind. Grind on me. Oh, sorry. That is not the kind of grind we're talking about, is it? My bad. Is there a pizza in heaven? Is that... I want a pizza. If you master the synergy, the reefs that block your way shall pose, uh, pose no trouble anymore. With Grind, you should be able to create a path um, by which you can sail to the Western Sea. Go brave addict. By your hands, may the remaining lighthouses burn bright once more. I can't wait to get to Jupiter Lighthouse. Out of the four lighthouses, I think it's my second favorite. I think Mars Lighthouse is still my favorite of the lighthouses. But Jupiter's definitely a close one. It's music sucks crap butt. But uh, the aesthetic of the uh, lighthouse itself is neat. But no, yeah, the music for that is straight booty. DiGiorno's pepperoni. I cut the frozen pie, uh, frozen pie into slices and cooked them individually. It's pretty cost effective. Makes sense. Preserves it longer. That synergy is quite powerful. It can only be trusted to very few people. That His Highness has given it to you should illustrate how great his expectations are. I have no doubt that your journey will be fraught with ever-increasing danger. But we are counting on you, Felix. Fix it, Felix! I got the grindstone. I got the grindstone. Back to the grindstone! Back to the grindstone! Back, back to the grindstone! Yeah! Back to the grindstone! Back, back to the grindstone! Back to the grindstone, back, back to the grindstone, back, 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 you know, I'm actually going to use that now. If I ever get, like, DiGiorno pizza or whatnot, or frozen pizza, period, I'm going to use that. Cut it into slices and preserve them like that. That method never, ever crossed my mind. Um, I think we go talk to the uncle, right? I've already been in the tower. I guess I'll just leave now. Oh, wait, no. So they're going to make us do this weird talking cut scene before we can get out of here. 
But we need to come back in because I believe there's a Mercury Gin. Um, somewhere in here. I can't... God dang it! <laughs> it's like the controller got stuck and wouldn't let me go any further. Alright, sweet. I can go into the ship and get the, the thingy. Get a new pizza cutter because it will, um, it will dull it up. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're cutting frozen beets after all. Um, I guess I want to go all the way across, right? Where's the ladder down? Porch. For a second one, because the first one was your uh, roommates and it's really dull now. Darn it, I screwed myself over. I bet your part, uh, I bet your uh, roommate's not too happy about that. When you leave, you'll just give him that one. I bet your roommate was like, Shade, leave! And, you, and you'd be like, what? <laughs> and you'd be like, you ruined my pizza cutter! She's going so long as I at least replace it. Oh, well, that's sweet of her. Could have been me. There would have been some uh, severe repercussions for messing up my pizza cutter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'd make you Bobby. Ten new pizza cutters. Ten might be a too much. No, I would make you buy me seven pizza cutters. One for each day of the week. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Sounds more like your brother style. Whose lip do I gotta bust? Whose hind parts I gotta spank? Tend to see we go. On the road again. Um, Pierce? Yes, Sheba, what is it? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Something I have to ask you. Ask me, Sheba. You and I look roughly the same age, but how old are you really? Is that your question? Sheba, it's not important. It is to me. If you are much older than us, then I'm afraid we've been shown, um, showing you. We haven't been showing the proper respect. Uh, don't worry about such things. Please, treat me as you have all along. No, that won't do. You have to tell us. What? Come now, this is silly. No, Pierce, tell me. You're afraid you haven't shown me the proper respect, and yet you make demands of me? Come on, Pierce, you can tell us. How old are you really? This has nothing to do with respect. You just want to know how old I am, don't you? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew it. Come on, Felix. Can't you get him off my back? Nah, we're just gonna give you the triple dots. You're in this too, aren't you, Felix? I've had it with your conspiracies up to now.